I'm standing next to a tree. Most people would agree that both of us are in some way alive. The tree gathers up water through its roots and traps sun in its leaves for energy. I'm standing next to it and talking. But what is it that separates us? I have something that we call consciousness. I talk and I know that I'm talking. The tree just does what it does without knowing what it's doing. So what is this thing that we call consciousness? Scientists, biologists and medical scientists have been fretting over this question for centuries. It's such a difficult question that it's become known as the intellectual, unfathomable abyss. In the 17th century, René Descartes argued that it was our ability to think and know that we think that separated the human from the non-human animal. I think, therefore, I am. He argued that the physical body and consciousness, which he called the soul, were two separate entities. Each human being, therefore, had two separate things, a physical body and the consciousness that guided it. Without consciousness, the physical body was just a machine and operated without thought, like a tree. And this, Descartes argued, was the case for non-human animals. This dual division into a body and separate consciousness became known as dualism. And ever since then, the argument has been between the dualists and their opponents, the monists, who argue that there is no separation between mind and body. For example, the philosopher John Locke argued that consciousness is formed by sensory impressions from outside, acting on the brain of a newly born human infant. This is known as the blank slate theory. The quest to understand consciousness goes on today. Neuroscientists are now at the forefront. They can demonstrate how the brain operates. Signals are transmitted down neural pathways, ensuring that conscious thoughts are turned into action. Neuroscientists claim that we are close to understanding what consciousness is. But do they mean that we will understand consciousness, or will we simply understand the processes by which it operates?